Let's kick off with the standing down of Simon Cooper. A bit of a surprise to some people. He hasn't said a whole lot. But what are we? What are farmers to read into this, Lindsay? Well, I, I've always found Simon to very, be a very thoughtful and considered person. And I think he's a man of integrity. And I think he's... Um, I, I think he's put a lot of effort into following the due diligence process and um, ensuring really the precondition of 100% ownership and control is met and he wasn't comfortable that that could be delivered and on that basis he's, he's stood down and and I'm, I'm saddened to hear that he's stood down because you know I think he's an intelligent man. Um, Lloyd, he cited his lack of comfort with some aspects of TAF. Was that putting it mildly, do you think? Well, it might have been in his view, but, you know, the council have come out totally in, in support of um, TAF and the board. So I don't know whether you want to read into that any more than what, you know, what you need to. I mean, people have different views on things, and that's why... Us two are here, but, you know, I mean, just because the chair... I've, if he doesn't agree with it, I mean, he's got two decisions, isn't he? The, fact, is the, fact the, he's, the fact he's gone and nailed his colours to the mast, but the Shareholders' Council has made it clear it'll stand alongside mm. Fonterra's Board of Directors come the end of June. Given that overwhelming support, what do you think? Will most farmers just fall in line when the time comes? No, I don't think so. I don't, yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I think one thing that Simon <coughs> standing down has um, brought a new resurgence, I suppose, to farmers. Farmers are, are I guess, starting to rethink this TAF if, if, um, if the chairman was willing to stand down over something as, as big an issue as TAF, and TAF is the biggest thing that's happened to Fonterra in the last 10 years since its inception. Mm -hmm.